boy oh boy the thieves are hard at work and when they are hard at work they are definitely hard at work and for you guys that cape for them i got two words for you well yeah you suck but anyway let's move on so yeah black zarek and hand yada 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 yep yep everybody's gonna want him some people have been reporting breakage not gonna really talk about that because i don't really want to get too deep in it but yeah we're using your picks because i got them from tfw 2005 and if you want to send your fans after me just let them know i got one in the chamber for you so please do now let's get on with the video yep it looks like black xerox got shipped and tumbled all the way overseas in someone's hands we know how he got here but anyway he looks good though can't wait to get mine so let's talk about it so first things first we see him holding the spear and he's holding it up against Rodimus Prime. Eh. And of course, here we get to see the base mode. And the base mode looks pretty good. Um, you know, like I say, just think about Scorpionok, but just painted in different colors to match Master Force. Um, I don't see anything wrong. A lot of gold, different colors of gold. You got the purple with the that off pinkish red color. Looks pretty nice. You got uh I guess it's supposed to be showing off the paint detail and I heard like I said again I heard about some issues with some breakage with someone else and of course there he is with the gold guy I don't really know his name I haven't really picked him up yet. there he is with uh the legends from uh Kingdom Megatron Starscream Soundwave they look pretty good in scale there now this is the one I want man the headmaster for the uh Xerox head Woo! man look at that and having that kind of like that uh design in his chest makes me think of uh you know what's the little thing that talks that little nebulous thing yeah it looks pretty good you know what i'm saying you know looks pretty good yeah um i'm really impressed by the head more than i am with the rest of the body of the tool and we can get a closer look at the detail here oh man that is some good work there so yeah this is shaping up really nice for the legacy line a must have you know for those and let's hope we get a proper gen ride down the line to go along with this i really wish i got my hands on grand maximus now but oh man look at that man Woo! look at that look at the detailing from the back wow i was wondering how they were gonna pull it off man this looks fantastic i mean woo! The paint is he gonna shuffle from gps I don't know. I ain't got him yet. But let's make one thing clear. I must get this. I must get this. Yes, I have Scorpionok. My review sucked on that one. But I know what to do the next time I do a review for a Titan class. Outside. In the daytime. Be a nice review. We'll put it together. I'll figure out something when I get mine. But in the meantime, the comparison, I mean, he makes poor uh, Zerok from... Uh, Scorpionok look plain and I mean the difference is the molding in the back. I mean, that's it's it's butter. It's just butter, man. Wow. Amazing. Just just amazing. So yeah, here's pictures of the head. It's basically the head, just now he's gold and black with the red visor and purple face. I mean, nothing's changed. I mean, we, we kind of figure what it would look like. But they did add some more detailing, I think, than they did with the uh Dark head from Scorpionok. I mean, definitely it's it's to me a, a big improvement. So yeah, go out and get him. So overall, impressive. Nice toy by Hasbro once again. Um, you know, glad to see that we're getting this. But it just shows we need to get more Master Force, more, you know, I know we're jumping all over the gun with Legacy, and you know, we're supposed to get this, and we're gonna get that, and we're gonna get this. But give me my Japanese figures so I can come out of it because I really don't care for the trilogy. I like the trilogy for what it was. Trying to re-image it, I'm not feeling it. And what they're doing with the animated figures, I'm not feeling it either. You know what I'm saying? Let's just continue on what we got and we're trying to get so I can get out of this thing. Man, it's like a trap, man, getting out of Transformers. But you know, we got to all come out of it sometime and just rest our laurels. But until then... We're going to just keep reporting the news and keep reporting what we see. 
So how many of y'all gonna get it? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And until then, Super Robot Ed, peace.